Hello and welcome to this course with me, Rory from Hyper Production. And today I'm here with Sonic Academy giving you a complete course guide on IK Multimedia's brand new T Rex 5. T Rex 5 is a brand new addition and upgrade from its predecessors, bringing you the best mixing and mastering tools available on the market today. It comes in two forms, one of being its individual modules to use as a mixing tool within your DAW, and then a standalone version as a complete mastering suite. So throughout this course, we'll be talking about how to use both of those to then get the best out of your end product. So go and grab yourself a coffee, a tea or a beer, and then come back and join me, and we'll be going over a simple overview to firstly tell you about what everything is and what everything means, and then we'll be going to more advanced things throughout the duration of this course. So stay tuned. Okay, so let's have a little look at the standalone mastering suite from T-Rex 5. I'm going to go over the various different areas and basically give you a bit of an explanation as to what individual bits mean. So T-Rex 5 standalone version comprises of eight separate areas. So the first one that we'll go over is this top one at the top here. So this is the main toolbar. Up here, you can go through all the various different presets. Then you've got an undo and a redo selection there. And then you can select between chain and waveform. So it will then select the waveform from the current track that you're wanting to apply some mastering tools to. And then you've got the chain, which obviously goes through the sequence of the individual modules. Next to that, we have an open assembly window, which basically will go over the various different file formats of how you want to export it and how you're going to burn it to CD and apply various different copyright protection to each individual tracks from there. And then simply to get back from that, we'll just click back on T-Rex 5 because you'll, you'll see at the top here, it's opened up into two separate tabs. And if we just click that one, it will then take us back. To the right of that, we have our obligatory audio controls so fast forward play and then obviously go back to the beginning then we've got to uh, basically a bit of information so we've got the bit rates then we've also got the timeline of where we are on the track we then have a mono and stereo selection so then we can listen to it in mono and then we can open it up and have a listen to it in stereo as well then further to the right hand side here we have a copy and paste function which basically lets us copy any signal paths and chains and sequence of modules to a various different sort of reference points here. So you've probably heard of AB referencing. We now have ABC and D referencing, which is super powerful and really helpful for quickly referencing different setups that you've got in your mastering chain. So a bit better than just having A and B, isn't it? So then we've got an extra to C and D on there as well. Further to the right of that, we have a equal gain output. So that basically will match our source file that we've got going into the mastering chain. So you don't want to be basically misguided of stuff just getting louder. We actually want to process the dynamics and, you know, so we can hear the EQ. So we can be mistaken for things being louder as being better. But if it's not actually necessarily doing anything to dynamics, then it's kind of a uh, lost cause and a bit pointless. Then again, to the right of that, we've got a sort of global bypass. So we can switch on and off the processing overall from the complete suite that we've got here. Then to the left hand side, we have all our presets. This dates back to, like I mentioned earlier, the predecessors of the T-Rex family and it going forward. And they've obviously added loads more presets in there as well, including some cool presets made by some quite notable figures within the music industry. One being Tom Lott Algae, which is a or who is a major player in the mixing game. Then in the middle here, this big GUI here, this big interface is our processor interface. So that's basically allowing us to change the parameters of various different modules that you can be that you can see in the chain at the bottom here. And then when we've got more than one, you simply just add it to the chain uh, and then you can just sort of select different ones from there and then obviously change the parameters. Then to the right hand side of that, we have all our metering windows. So we have our graphical EQ there and then we've got various different phasing and polarity meters there as well, as well as our loudness meters there as well and our stereo imaging too. 
Then to the bottom left, we have our clip list. This is basically showing us what tracks we've got in there at the moment. So obviously, as you can see, I've got track one and two in there ready to go. <clears throat> then in the bottom here, we have our chain window. This basically allows us to see all the different modules that we've got in there as well. And like I mentioned, you just select each one, go back up to the processor interface, and then we could change the parameters there. Then to the right hand side of that, we have all our different modules that we can select to put in there as well, which is sorted out nice and neatly via this sort of taxonomy window here. And then we can sort of filter down what it is that exactly that we're looking for. So continue watching this course. I've been Rory and you've been watching Sonic Academy. So stay tuned. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please, we'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me.